Now we have seen that people are more comfortable writing the Java style of programming. So in iOS 5.0, Apple have introduced a concept called automatic reference counting. Now all of us use ARC, but it's not like it will take care of memory management on its own. It has some predefined rules where your line of code get reduced. It automatically writes the code. It's not like a garbage collector which gets called runtime. ARC runs on the compile time where it injects the code on its own before it goes to the runtime system. So when your app is ARC enabled, you're not supposed to call retain, you're not supposed to call release, and you're not supposed to call auto release in your code. It will be managed by the system on its own. So with that, they have introduced one more new attribute called strong and weak. So this attribute was listed after iOS 4. So if you want strong is replacement of retain, weak is replacement of assign. Now by default prior to iOS 5.0 in non-ARC mode assign is a by default right. But now with ARC enabled strong becomes by default. So it's like a Java whenever you assign a pointer it will do a shallow copy by incrementing the retain count. So whenever you make a strong there has to be a release opposite right. Now with ARC, how it works, it depends upon the scope of the variable. If a reference is declared in dot H, that means the scope of that reference is global to the class. It will automatically call release when a dialog of that particular class gets called. When a variable is declared local to the method, the release will call at the end of the method. So ARC helps you because manually when you write release, you might forget to write release your reference in some places and that might cause your memory to occupy and your app will get crashed. And also ARC used in our fourth and fifth scenario of auto release where we say if an object is allocated and the same object needs to be returned, you have to write auto release on your own, right? ARC will write auto release on its own. So that you are not supposed to write release auto release on its own in a ARC environment. So the same set of methods gets differentiated when you use ARC enabled. So when I say alloc, you have to write nil, strong, nil, copy, nil, and other one remains same. So instead of writing release, we write nil. Now, ARC concentrated only on the scope of the object. What about the purpose? Suppose I declare a reference in a dot edge because I want to use that reference in say three or four methods of mine. And after the execution of fourth method, I don't want that reference. In that case, ARC will retain that object till the dialog of that class gets called. So that's a major drawback of the ARC. So in such case, we write nil on our own when that purpose gets over of the object. So we always still stick to the rule called scope and purpose. So yeah, if an object is needs to be there globally, I will not write nil inside my dialog, it will be automatic written. So in that case, ARC helps me to reduce the code. But yeah, you have to understand the purpose. If the purpose is getting done, if your object purpose is over, you make sure you write the opposite. So if you see load background, if I call alloc, I'm not calling release out here. The ARC enable code will automatically write the release. But in unload background, I'll have removed from super view. But so if so release will happen only when the background ARC will release this background variable only when a dialog will get called still that time my background will remain in my memory. So I have to make it nil suppose I say no boss I want to remove my background so you have to call nil. So this is how the ARC works. So in this ARC we are not writing auto release it will take care. So strong. So ARC is very helpful when it comes to the writing reducing a line of code so we always opt for the ARC and it's if you see ARC it's more towards Java oriented where it says strong should be by default okay I know it's a bit of heavy session of theory but when you want to see the practical session of our, of our, of our tutorial you will see all these concepts are getting repeated and that time you will get a clear idea of 
all this concept so we are just doing this concept because you get aware when we actually start developing the application so arc is very important in terms of memory management now since ios 5.0 and above we, everyone switched to arc but you have to make sure where you have to write nil so rules of the method are still the same add sub view opposite remove from super view and all these things are being given okay so that's what is all about the arc next topic we'll see protocols